So the final weigh-in and the final showdown between these guys prior to them facing off the ring just ended. And both of them weighed in at their career heaviest. Tyson, too fat Fury, I mean too fast Fury, weighed in at 277. While Deontay uh, Bomb Squad Wilder weighed in at 238. I don't know what we, both guys are really thinking. I know what Wilder's thinking. He wants to bulk up so we can take Fury in the clinch. But 238 is not enough. Like, it's either you fully do it or you don't do it at all. You know what I mean? It's either you bulk up to like 250, 260 maybe, or don't bulk up at all. Like, he looked really big up top, but he does not look big with his legs, bro. And we all know that was the problem for him. He should have just been working on his legs because he was big enough. He's always been extremely athletic. But Tyson Fury seemed very angry. He seemed very frustrated. And that probably is because the first time in his career, he hasn't been able to get into his opponent's head. Wilder this time was very calm. He was very corny, especially in that post weigh interview. Some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. But still, he was very calm. <clears throat> he didn't let Fury get under his skin for the first time. Both other the first two meanings they had, Fury was under Wilder's skin. Wilder was becoming too big, too big of an ego, even too big for God. This time, though, he's mentioning God the whole time. He's in a very spiritual place. And Tyson Fury, I don't know, this only this only makes my feeling stronger that Tyson Fury is gonna lose this fight. Even though as if you guys go watch my prediction, if I break it down. I told you, all the advantages are for Fury, but something, just a funny feeling in my heart, in my gut, that Fury's going to get knocked out, get knocked out very early. Wouldn't be shocked if it's in the first round, could be in the second, third round, but I see, I envision a very early knockout for Deontay Wilder, which is funny because I, the first two fights that they had, I thought Fury, going into the fights, I was very sure Fury was going to win them both. And I kept on saying Fury's going to win by a knockout in the, prior to the second fight. And I don't care about anyone. I really like, yeah, I really said that too. No, no, most of you guys did not say that. Everyone was saying it's either Fury by decision or Wilder by KO. Well, I was saying, you know what? I could see Wilder racking up points, racking up rounds to win a decision. But Fury's the one that's going to get the knockout. But the round I predicted it in was around 10 or 11. I did not. Envision him to be done wilder the way he did. But at the same time, no one could have expected him to hit Wilder on the ear like that and Wilder to lose his equilibrium. No one envisioned that. Of course, you can't envision going to a fight, this guy's going to lose his equilibrium. That's very hard to pick. And, that, and most. what's even harder is to envision it happening twice in a row. So that's why my official pick right now. Last time I was more on the fence. This time I'm more certain about it. My official pick is Deontay Wilder to win by KO early. Very early. Don't be shocked. Of course they're not on the same level. Of course Dominic Brazil is a million. I mean a million. Tyson Fury is a million times better than Dominic Brazil. But don't be shocked if it's in the same fashion as the Tyson Fury versus Dominic Brazil fight. I just think that uh, Tyson Fury has not been focused on this fight. I just think Tyson Fury is really frustrated that he's not getting in his opponent's head. And even more frustrated that his $100 million or maybe $200 million payday against Anthony Joshua has just gone through the toilet. So there is more than one point for for Tyson Fury to be frustrated. His daughter, where where we all were praying for her, of course, barely made it out alive. His newborn daughter. So there's so much points, so much stuff going on for Tyson Fury. Where Deontay Wilder, nothing's really going on for him. Uh, Tyson Fury did calm down the virus the first time this fight was supposed to happen. So it's just a lot of stuff racking up on Tyson Fury. Uh, do I do I give you Tyson Fury no choice? I'm telling you, my brain says it's all Fury, but my heart says Wilder, and, and, and my gut says Wilder. And guess what? I'm going to go with my gut and heart. And I'm picking Wilder to win this fight by early knockout. I'm going to die with my sword. I'm going to die on my shield. I I was so... 
So going back and forth. Uh, when I picked Fury to win the rematch by knockout, a lot of people were laughing at me. A lot of people were mocking me. Just like how a lot of people mocked me when I said Ruiz is going to be too fast for Joshua. If Joshua does not keep it far, he will be not, he will get knocked out and knocked out pretty brutally. People mocked me. People mocked me when I said Fury was going to win by KO. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people, a lot of you in the comment section below are going to mock me for picking Wilder to win by KO. But that's what I see happening. Uh, as I said, I just kept on racking up all the advantages. They're all for Fury. By the end of the day, I just have this gut feeling that Wilder's going to catch him this time. You don't want to give a guy like Wilder three chances to knock you out. Like, let's say Tyson Fury fought Wilder ten times. We would all agree that Tyson Fury would win seven or six times, right? Well, Wilder's going to win three or four times in those ten times. So this is probably going to be one of them. That's how I see it. And you know what sucks about this? They're going to be one, one, and one. They're each going to have a win and one draw. And guess what? We're going to see a fourth fight one day, aren't we? The only reason why I want Jason Fury to win is so this can all finish. But at the same time, I want Wilder to win. Because I know Wilder is more beatable by other heavyweights. If Fury wins, it's going to be a very boring heavyweight division. With Fury dominating the other fighters. Because I don't envision anyone beating Fury. While if Wilder wins and Fury just... And Fury and Joshua take each other out. Wilder, Usyk, Hergovic, Joyce, Dubai, Yoka. They're all on the same level. They're all on the same level. So it'll be a very, very interesting time for the heavyweight division. And I, I see Usyk and Wilder taking each other out. Because Usyk is going to be too quick, too much movement for Wilder. But if Wilder connects the same way Joshua connected them around, in round six, which Usyk is not going to be... He's not going to continue the fight. Believe me that. Usyk will be out for the count if Wilder can connect the same way Joshua connected in that round six. Let me know what you guys in the comments below. Do you guys think I'm crazy for picking Wilder to win by KO? And uh, like and subscribe. Sadiq Boxing out.